Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. Okay, a few things this morning is I got a order from Air Nail Supply. Let's go through it like super quickly before the day begins because I feel like I'm gonna be using some of this stuff and then it'll never get out to you. So I have a busy day planned here. So I don't have a busy day with clients. I structure things that way for filming um, sometimes, but there are other things that I really want to do and I'm really hoping that I can get them done today. Sometimes I fall off the wagon and like hit really hard. I have gloves. You guys know that I love the Alexandria powder-free nitrile gloves in the small. So I didn't necessarily like super need gloves, but I always like to get them when I order so that I don't have to worry about them. I have them, they're stocked. Actually, these need to go in my desk, I believe. The main reason why I made the order was these. You guys know, again, I'm such a creature of habit, the Ugly Duckling Medium. If you guys can think of any other file that I should try, pop them down below. I'm not trying to get away from these. I just absolutely love these. Uh, they come in a 50 pack. I have one ready to go in my desk, setting one here. Sometimes I'll just order like a whole order of files, which I really need to do for backup because I find myself running out and then getting right on the wire before more come in. Not on purpose, just seems to be happening. I have a drill bit. This is for my coworker. Uh, she ordered this one. She doesn't typically order a whole lot from here um, because she uses a different brand. So when I order, I always check with her and make sure that there's nothing she needs and she needed a drill bit. So that is, I think an ugly duckling safety bit. I'd have to look, but I'm pretty sure. I got monomer and polymer because there's no sense in making an order if I'm not gonna add that stuff to it. I hate to go down the road, you know, I won't order that stuff with it because I don't need it right now. And then, you know, two weeks from now or a week from now, I'm like, ah, I should have ordered that. Um, the last thing I have in, nope. The second to last thing that I have in this order is a gel polish brush. It is the number seven, um, Magic Gel Magic Brush Flawless Sculpting. I really hope that this is a good gel polish brush. I seem to struggle with them. And it's just really, I think, because I don't use them a lot. I had the light elegance ones and wore them out. Like there was nothing wrong with them, but I just thought I'd try something different. So here we are. Um, and something somebody pointed out to me, and you know, I realized that now that I'm looking at it, it doesn't have a cover. Sometimes that can be spicy when you're trying to store them. Okay, and the last thing I have, Ugly Duckling Matte Top Coat. I adore this stuff for, oh, you know, everything. I love the tack-free top coats, the various tack-free top coats, matte top coats, love them, but don't love them for when I'm doing art. So when I'm going to do nail art over a already painted nail, I like to use this top coat, this matte top coat because I find that when you wipe the dispersion film, it's actually matte without any extra, I don't know what I'm trying to say. When, it, when I use a tack free and I wanna do art over it, it doesn't feel like it feels when I use this. So, that's that. So that's the last thing out of that. And the next thing would be Expert Touch, OPI, lint-free wipes. These are from Amazon, guys. I have been ordering them from Amazon for ages. Uh, they are in my link tree down below. You can go to my Amazon favorites and they are there. It is an affiliate link. Uh, but I love these and I mean, they come in like two days. This is something I always forget to order and I think I've trained myself to forget to order them now because I do get them from Amazon. So. Anyway, that's that. The only other thing I have in there is a little tripod for vlogging, because now I'm trying to take it further with me. So, that is it. I'm gonna get ready, finish getting ready for the day, try to get some more coffee in me before the day starts. It looks like it's gonna be a nice one. I really wanna do some uh, glitter bells, not necessarily swatching, but I have in my head, I really like to do some Instagram photos and I kind of, like I say, they're, they're, in, they're in here floating around in my noggin. So we'll see 
if I can get those done, it's going to take some time. And I also ordered another acrylic um, polish stand for over there. If you watched my last week vlog, um, I was talking about what I was going to do about arranging polishes. So I've decided to use that. Anyway, talk to you later. Good morning, guys. It's Wednesday. I'm at work, but this isn't like a work parcel. Amazon actually dropped off my stuff at like quarter after six this morning. So, I brought it with me. These are personal things, but I thought you might like to see it. Let's go with the skincare first. Oh, it's not in here. I thought it would be. Okay, we only have one thing to show them, and it is one of those massage guns. Right? Like people are using on their like quads and stuff. Sorry, this is really bright. Wow. So, as I was saying, this is a massage gun and I had started running and was having some problems with a couple of spots and thought I would try one. So, this was not the more expensive one by any means. I got the cheapy, but it comes in a carrying case. Not sponsored, by the way. Oh, okay. Wow. So it has the end with the ball, and it has the end with like, whatever that's called. And I don't know what that is, but I'm sure we'll find out. Oh, the massage gun itself is like heavy. I didn't expect that. Please read the manual, it says. We'll do, boss. We'll do. And the charging cord, it all like settles in there quite nicely. That's really interesting. I didn't think it would be this hefty, I guess. I was kind of expecting something a little like cheaper because this was the cheaper one. So the ball head is for large muscle groups, quads, glutes, etc. The fork head is for neck, spinal, and your calves. The flat head, okay, so that is, a, I wasn't sure. The flat head is for general use, relaxed for the whole body. And the cone head is to apply to strike the deep tissue joint, feet, wrists. I already have a knot in my shoulder that I can see me using this on. I haven't had any coffee yet. You have to charge it. During charging, if the power is less than 35%, the indicator flashes red. It's clever. Okay, the rest of it doesn't look like anything I need to know. So we're gonna charge it, and I'm gonna let you know how I make out with this thing. I really bought it for my quads, my shoulder, if I can use it on myself, and my neck, my neck, this general area, from my hair to, yeah. Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. It is Tuesday and I didn't get a vlog up this week. Uh, normally I do on Monday, even though I'm not necessarily like trying to get one for Monday, but I normally do do that. Anyway, I didn't this weekend. It was a tractor pull weekend in my community. So we spent basically all weekend <laughs> doing that and being there and taking in the sights and volunteering a little bit my boyfriend volunteers and which usually kind of takes my time too and we had a great time and it was lovely and it was wonderful and I have a whole bunch of new things to show you but when I left here see if I can show you it's uh, Friday, Friday night Saturday did I work Saturday this weekend <laughs> no I didn't track the weekend um I left a mess I left a huge mess so now I need to clean it so come with me while I do that One too many times Feeling like another ends Back again, square one Try to leave myself behind Looking for a better place Not to stay alone Alright, I think this is... You're moving. <laughs> I think this is going to be the easiest way to do this. I'm just going to go through the stuff that's here really quickly and I need some paper towel because it's raining so hard. I assume this is Hurricane whoever. Okay, the first thing I have here I think needs tightened up. Oh, there we go. Okay, 
So this is a jewelry stand. And I know what you're thinking, and it's not for swatch sticks. It's for the store next door. So I'm a vendor at the store next door as well, and I do bring in a little bit of jewelry. And I was able to find that this weekend. Um, getting commercial jewelry stands turned out to be really expensive. Not commercial, like not huge ones, but even just countertop ones. Turned out to be really expensive. So I got that. Coffee. Mm. Mm. Okay. Um, the little dots that you see on the tops of my gel polish bottles, I had to have more of these to put on the unbelievable gels that I got. Can of soup, because the girls gotta eat. Um, cling film. God, everything is soaked. Cling cling film film for the window what do they call it? window film okay. um to be able to put up so that the sun doesn't shine in there quite so strong I had to do something and I didn't want to put a blind up so I'm gonna go with that swatch sticks because a girl almost always has too many or not enough and another one of the acrylic stands for gel polish so that more gel polish can come down here and the unbelievable gels can have a home. So that is a really, really quick Amazon haul. I'll talk about more of this stuff as I put it together and get it going, uh, but they're all in the link down below. They're all affiliate links. Go check it out. These are, this is stuff I've really, like really enjoyed. So that's that. You're crooked. You're still crooked. Um, so, I mean, since we talk real life, right? I guess. I'm in between appointments. It's quarter after eight. My next girl will be here shortly. Shortly, but I want to start running more. And to do that, I looked up a training program for a half marathon. Let's look. Wow, way to take that on without knowing what you're doing. Um, yeah, so, yeah, a half marathon. So it's a 20 week training. So I'm just literally putting on my calendar that I use for work, what days, how many miles I'm supposed to be doing. So last night I did three miles with this in mind, but not like hadn't really looked at it. And the prep week, the first day of training is two miles. So that's fine. I'm gonna start this with week one, call it week one, or actually they're calling it a prep week. Um, week one is next week. But I'm gonna go ahead and do like six weeks or so in my book. And at that point, I'll reevaluate and see if I'm sticking to it. I feel like it's going to be a little bit easier to stick to in these months as it starts to cool down. It's not cooling down yet, but it will be. And I feel like there's a little less going on and maybe it'll be a little easier to follow it. So I'm going to do that. I do still have swatches to make. I do still have to put up the window film, but I'm probably going to do all that in the next clip because I do have a little bit of a break. If any of you guys run, pop it down below. How far do you go? What do you do? Are you on a schedule? Do you just run when you want to? Or do you cross train in between? Because I'm hearing how important other training is, not necessarily cross training, but just other training to make sure that you don't injure yourself. So give your girl some advice. You ready for some fun? I am gonna take down the <laughs> She's a scrapbook paper that are my window blind. And I'm going to put up, hold on. I probably already told you this. I'm gonna put up this film um, as a window blind. But I gotta get to the window first. So if you wanna if you wanna hang out with me while I do that, just take this off. Then uh, let's go, let's do it. Gain our trust and you chose to break it. As for truth, but you only fake it. You said what we had was sacred It's all lies, all lies I was broken and isolated But inside had the fire waiting Not a word that you say can save us So don't try Cause this time you crossed the line
time for a before and after so I haven't got the plants back up yet but I do have the film up so I want to show you so that's what it looks like now and I am super happy with it it is a hundred percent not cut straight but such is life if we've met before oh you're moving if we've met before you know that I wing things and that is exactly what you just seen is me winging it so the next thing we're going to talk about is my organization skills with empty boxes and things that I think I might need that I probably will never in my entire life need. So let's get to that. Let's move this plant so that you can get the entire gist of things. This is the pile. Can you see it? This is what lives and has lived behind this chair. To be honest, now that I'm looking at this, there's really not a whole lot to throw out. But one thing I did find that is really interesting is the rest of the film that I used on the other window. Oh good, it wouldn't have been enough, I'm glad. Cause yeah, that would have been a bit, a bit weird. Um, but there's not a lot here for the garbage. There's a few things, so I'll take those out, but Otherwise, it just kind of gets stacked back up because these are things that no, I don't need on a daily basis, but will will need like and boxes for things that I've purchased that I intend on selling. Um, for example, the EOS M100 from Canon. I film on that sometimes, and when I go to upgrade that, I will sell the old one because there's nothing wrong with it. So I have the box from that, you know, stuff like that. The box from my Erica's file. Um, I really want to keep that because I. Feel like if I ever have to send it back for maintenance or anything like that, I'd like to keep the box that it came in. So I guess, sorry, I shut it off when I was moving it. So I guess that's not actually that big of a deal. I'm gonna grab a garbage bag and throw out a couple of things, but then I'll put everything back, clean up the floor, put the plants back, and then we have to build a shelf, the acrylic shelf for the polishes. Probably gonna eat before that though because I don't do tedious things well when I'm hungry and I'm hungry. So let's get fed. So I wanted to talk to you guys, and I know this is a weird angle. I'm gonna try to fix it in a second. You may also fix yourself by sliding off the dash. There we go. Yeah, I wanted to be able to talk to you guys, but in my other vehicle, oh, I hope you're not rocking around too much. In my other vehicle, you had a perfect place to sit. Hmm. <laughs> and in this vehicle, you don't, okay? So I just got a new vehicle on Monday, and there's no place for you to be other than right here, and I don't know, I don't know, we're gonna try it. Anyway, I'm on my way home, because um, I got a notification that Pure Later delivered something to my house and I don't know what it is. I didn't, I should say I didn't order anything, but I have some orders. Um, if you guys are here all the time, you know that I'm a vendor in the store next door to the salon as well. And I have made orders for the store for sure, but I didn't think any of them had shipped yet. So, so 
all very confusing. Um, but I'm on my way home. <laughs> I'm on my way home <laughs> to get this order and see. Because if it is for the store, well, I might not actually have time by the time I get back. But if it is for the store, then I'll have it there. Oh my God, are you guys gonna stay there? I'll have it there and then I can unpack it as the day goes on and get it at least priced and ready to go. So that'll be fun. Um, and I get to see Miss Molly. And I get to see how much damage, even though there's like not damage, but how much um, cleanup there is. I reached under one of our sinks in the bathroom this morning to grab something. What the heck is going on here? And it was wet. So that's fun. That's really fun. So I'm going to uh, clean that up, mop that up, and see if it's, I think it's the drain. I kind of reached in under and like messed around a little bit. I think it's coming from the drain. So as long as nobody's running water in it, I mean, I feel like it shouldn't hurt anything as far as, you know, over the next couple of days until we can get somebody in to fix it. Um, I don't know what kind of, I've never had to ask Neil what kind of plumber he is, but we'll see. We'll see about that. Okay, I'm gonna shut you guys off because I literally have to hang on to the camera and it's probably not legal and it's probably not safe. I'm not really hanging on to it, I'm just studying you guys. Anyway, doesn't matter. I'm shutting you off, I'll talk to you in a minute. expecting from here later turned out to be an Amazon order that was unimportant and not relevant but I came home to see my girl my derpy girl how are you how are you you don't like the camera you don't like the camera no you don't Ugh, there's music playing I better shut you guys off before I get a copyright. Hey guys, so I'm sitting on the couch, I'm editing, I'm looking out the window apparently. I am also watching um, Selena Ryden because she just uploaded for the first time in quite a while. It's been like a week or so ago, but I just kind of remembered it was there. So I'm closing out this vlog on my phone because I edited the majority of it yesterday and realized I didn't close it out at all. So drinking my coffee, using my own iPad, sitting with my blanket, doing my thing for my day off, this is kind of what I do for an hour or so before I hit the ground running. Like once I'm finished my coffee, I'll just jump up and start doing things. But for the meantime, I cuddle with my little girl. She's so cute. Anyway. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. If you like and share and comment, of course, it means a lot to my channel. And I'll see you guys next time.